I'm Oscar Brown Jr. on the Jazz Scene USA. Compared to most other instruments in jazz, the guitar is sort of a Johnny-come-lately. But guitarist Barney Kessel, our guest leader this evening, isn't the least bit late. He's one of the true journeymen of jazz. What does that mean? Well, you'll find out right now as we hear the Barney Kessel trio with the classic Gypsy in My Soul. These days, it may seem difficult to think of the guitar as a latecomer to jazz. The fact is, though, that before the appearance of Charlie Christian during the late 1930s, the guitar was restricted almost entirely to playing a role in the rhythm section of a band. When a guitarist played a solo, it was usually consisting of just chords instead of the improvisations on the single strings that today make it an important jazz voice. The reason for this is pretty simple. It couldn't be heard in a decent-sized ballroom or nightclub where a whole lot of off-stage noises would carry above the music. So Charlie Christian put electronics to work for him. He amplified his instrument. Now, not only did this solve the problem of audibility, he was also able to hold notes like a horn. And Charlie Christian was the first jazz guitarist to play as if he were a saxophone or a, or a trumpet. Electronics gave him great flexibility in musical thought and in action. Barney Kessel was a student at Oklahoma State University during the years when Charlie Christian was making jazz history. They were, in fact, fast friends. And whenever opportunities swung, they'd get together for a jam session in the college playhouse till the Oklahoma dawn. Barney then was in the guitar chair of Hal Price's Varsitonians, a group that had as competition on the campus another band, Jimmy Baker's Collegians. It's no coincidence, merely justice, that the Jimmy Baker of Oklahoma State University and the producer of Jazz Scene are one and the same. 
Well, it's a long way from the classic guitar used for hundreds of years to this, the jazz instrument of today's jazz guitarist. Let's hear how Barney Kessel put this technology to work as the trio plays a lovely song, in other words. This is Barney Kessel's latest album, not with this bassist and drummer, incidentally, but with a big band on the Reprise label. But speaking of this bassist and drummer, that's Buddy Woodson. And over here is Stan Levy. Now, before we chat with Barney on the modern function of a jazz guitarist, it's April in Paris.
Barney Kessel, you can't mean you use all these from day to day. I really do, Oscar. These and many more that I have at home. Well, why so many? Well, I'll tell you, I do a lot of work here in Hollywood in uh, various contexts, uh, motion picture backgrounds, television film, live television, mm -hmm. commercial recordings. And uh, there's so many different conductors that have different ideas of all types of music scores and different textures, and they want different sounds, and there's no one guitar that will give all of the sounds they want. Well, that's quite an inventory. Uh, why don't you tell us some of the specific uses to which you put some of these? Start with this one, for example. All right, which one? This one yeah. right here? Mm -hmm. uh, this is the uh, bass guitar. It's a six-string bass guitar, and the lowest note is the same pitch as the uh, regular bass viol. And this is used uh, an awful lot in rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Familiar sound. Mm -hmm. How about this, this one? one? Happens to be one put out by the Gibson Guitar Company that uh, is a Barney Kessel model. And I use this in most of my commercial work to handle sort of what you call the middle of the road jobs. It takes care of most of the situations for electric guitar. <laughs> Real workhorse. How about this one? This is a guitar that I've devised that has a special tuning that, uh, when played, gives a combination of a guitar and banjo sound, and I use it a lot in uh, folk songs. Mm -hmm. And over here, well, this I know. Well, you know this, Oscar. This is a, a banjo, and I use this in many film scores. Mm -hmm. uh, although I'm not principally a banjo player, uh, this does fill the need many times in the orchestra. I play rhythm is sort of camouflaged, and it sounds good. Well, Barney, thanks very much for a most interesting demonstration, and thanks for joining us on the jazz scene. What are you going to play for us next? Well, Oscar, I'd like to do a guitar solo, if I may. This is a number that is known all over the world and is seems to be equally popular by two different names. This is London Derry Air or Danny Boy. Oh, go to it. Beautiful. Here's Barney Kessel's very sensitive rendition of one of the world's most beautiful pieces of music, the wonderful tune which, as Barney pointed out, has two names, the London Derry Air or Danny Boy. Beautiful. Just beautiful. You know, one of the joys of digging jazz and working with jazz musicians like Barney Kessel is that they're unconfined. We can move so easily from the quiet of Danny Boy to the tune our guest chose for his wind-up. 
The tempo here is way up. The feeling is frantic as the Barnett Kessel Trio partakes of a little taste. One mint julep. what's happening on the JSC USA. Until next time, our thanks to Barney Kessel and the Barney Kessel Trio for playing and to you for listening and watching. Oscar Brown, Jr. Later.